people today. The only difference between being a champion and being a chump is you. Now, in the game of life, we got some winners and we got some losers. Everybody wants to be a winner. Never want to be the loser. But being winners, you got to struggle. You got to struggle a little bit to be considered a winner. And a lot of people that we look at at life that ain't make it, we looking them, we looking at them like they chumps, and some of them they are. So when we look at the people that's chumps, you know, in this game of life, when we all want to be winners and we all want to be champions, we gotta look at some things about the chumps. And how I see it is, the chumps, they make too many damn excuses of why and why not. You know, why I didn't accomplish this. Why I should have done this. If this, if that. Making too many excuses. And they can't get past the mistakes that they've made to end up where they at now. Most of the times, they lack motivation. They lack all kinds of motivation from their environment. The people around them ain't never pushed you, ain't pushing you to do what you need to do, to do, to, to, to be a winner in this game, you know. We say life ain't a game, but the things that we do within life do become the game. You know, competing against your peers, competing against your coworkers, competing in everyday life. But self-esteem is low because they don't because they consider the have-nots. They rather have and not put in the work to have. So, in the end result, they have not. They they let the, like I said they let their peers pass them by in everyday life, whether it's school, work, sports, just people just outworking you. You know, just outworking you, flat out outworking you to the point where you should be sick to your stomach to keep losing it ain't no fun when you losing this shit sucks so more times than not you rather not compete but why why not compete if you're gonna play the game you, you play the game to win you play the game of life to win you competing to be the best you competing to be the winner so when when you lose that man and you haven't learned anything when you have no desire to learn how to be the best how to become the best you know for sports for instance you know you got your your Jordans you got your Muhammad Ali's your Tom Brady's your Kobe's everybody has been to a point where they've been knocked down but they get back up you know them some of the champions that are that 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 most people would admire you know you got to get back up but more the chumps look at things and, and and rather not do. Like I said, they rather not compete. So, you know, if you rather not compete, just get out the way. For the people, for the shakers and movers who are ready to compete in anything, whether it's in a stock market, you know, whether it's teaching, sports, whatever you consider winning at life. If you don't want to compete, please move out the way for the for the next man, for the next woman to do their job, you know. And more times than not, all the chumps, they rather hate for what they don't have or for what they wor haven't worked for. So with that, they only know laziness. They only know half-assing because that's what they do. They go through the motions. And you can't, you can't get nowhere like that. Worst of all, they lack discipline, self-discipline. They lack it. So they can't they can't go nowhere. They getting into a, a vehicle with no gas. You can't you can't start a car with no gas. You can't go nowhere like that. And more times than not, you know, and this is the negative side of of being part of that 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 losing class, being a chump, is that they too stubborn to get out of their own way. They can't see the forest for the trees, you know. And that's how you block a lot of your blessings, cause. You, you, you first off you rather not compete 
and you rather not see the bigger picture of what you need to do in this life to better yourself. And my channel was always about bettering yourself, man, woman, or child, it don't matter. But when you get yourself so caught up in small trivial things, you will never see the big picture. But let's look at the champions or who you consider a champion in your life. Your mother, your father, any sports or sports figures or whatever like you know, whatever it is that you see and you admire to, 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 to be part of, you need to do that. But when you look at them champs, like I said, you look at the Jordans, the Kobe's, the Brady's, and the Muhammad Ali's. Some people that, you know, I admire myself, you know, but I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. Don't ever forget that. But uh, I admire their work ethic. I admire that they worked hard. They get up every day. They discipline themselves. They body, you know, they keep, they, they eat right. You know, they keeping their bodies in tip-top shape in the off season. You know, somebody that's, that lacks the discipline won't even, won't even work work to even get to be the champion that they want to be or need to be for themselves they won't do it so most people that's champions they know them struggles they know they, they they wake up every morning at the top of the morning setting out setting out all the goals that they need to accomplish and get them done they champions but champions have been knocked down before but they always gotten back up to finish the fight and this thing we call life Right? The champions, how can I say this? The champions you view as great, no struggle. Again, they know discipline. They go through it every day. They, they set out, wake up every day, and get ready for any punches thrown their way. Any problems, they solve them. They become the problem solver for themselves. And they get out of their own way. You know? But... At the end of the day, you need to process some things. You need to process and take action on the path you choose to take. Because nobody's going to push you. You got to do that for yourself. And once you recognize it's being great, it's a great feeling. You know, people people root for you. People actually support you versus those who don't. they just going to, you know, the losers, they're going to live in the shadows. Nobody's ever going to remember you. You feel me? But... You know, kind of like, you know, to wrap it up, there's going to be some ups and downs. There's always going to be ups and downs, struggles, trials and tribulations that you all got, that we all got to go through. Nobody is going to go through this life undefeated in life. Let me say that again. Nobody's going to go through this life undefeated. And if you do, you know, it, it, it's rare. But you got to know, you, you, you got to stay down until you're able to come up, you know, by getting out of your own way. Keep, keeping people, I always promote this, keeping people around you that's going to push you and not just going to tell you, you know, they're going to be yes men, yes women to you. They're going to stop you and tell you what's wrong with you, you know, what you're doing wrong. That, that, that's, that's part of growing. That's part of, you know, being a winner, being able to win. That's part of that. And, uh, you know, you got to get back up and dust yourself off and finish the fight. Because, you know, you step in a, you step in a ring, you're going to get knocked down. You're going to get hit with some some, some punches. You know, you gonna, they're going to drop you. Some, some, some things in life are going to drop you to your knees, but you got to get back up. And, you know, because that's the only way to succeed. That's the only way to succeed. It's important, is it? you know. <laughs> That's what it is. But listen, that's my time. Like, share, subscribe. You know, everything is in the bio below. You know, follow me on my YouTube channel and do that. But y'all be blessed and I'm out.